This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, number 92. Find the inverse of f of x, and f of x is equal to x plus 3 over 2x. All right, so we want to go ahead and find the inverse, which is we know we want to find the inverse is f to the negative 1 of x, right? That is the inverse. This is a lowercase f. I don't know why it kind of looks like an uppercase, but yeah, it's a lowercase. Anyway, so what do we do? Step one, we know how to do this, right? We want to go ahead and instead of f of x, we want to name our function y. So that becomes y is equal to x plus 3 over 2x. Step two, we want to swap all the x's and the y's. Swap, not sway, swap x's with y. Let's just swap x, let's just write it, swap x and y and that's how we can write it. Okay, so y here becomes x equals, x here becomes y plus 3 stays a 3 over 2 stays a 2, and x becomes a y. Okay, now we want to go ahead and step 3, solve for y. Okay, we want to solve for y, we want to get y all by itself. And here, it might be a little tricky. We have two of them, but it's not that tricky, and we'll be able to do it in a cinch. Okay? So we want to get y out of the denominator and get rid of this, this ratio, the fraction, altogether. So let's go ahead and multiply. I'm using a different color. Let's multiply both sides by 2y. Okay? That's going to cancel 2y here in the numerator with the one in the denominator, because this one's over 1. And that's going to leave us with 2yx on the left equals 2y plus 3 on the right. Okay? And now to isolate y, we want y's, all the y's together on one side of the equation. Okay? So let's go ahead and subtract y from both sides. So we get 2yx minus y equals to 3 because these cancel out. Okay? Now we have y here and a y here. We can factor out a y from both of these terms. So we have y on the outside. When we get rid of 1y here, we just left with 2x. We get rid of the y here, we divide by it, we get 1 equals to 3. And finally, we can divide both sides by 2x minus 1. Right? That's going to cancel these, and we're left with y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 1. And there is one final step. Okay, We want to go ahead, let's call this step 4. We're going to name our inverse function. Okay? That's it, O U R. We're going to name our inverse function. Okay? And that means if our original function was f of x, our new one is going to be f to the negative 1, which is the inverse function of f. Okay? If it was g of x, we would name it g to the negative 1 of x, and so forth. Okay? So let's go ahead and name it. That's just this step. We can go ahead and say f to negative 1 of x equals, and now we have it already, 3 over 2x minus 1, and we're done. So that ends for us CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, number 92.